Good day guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to remove the front grille from your Jeep JK Wrangler. Now they'll probably be exactly the same from 2007 to 2012. Might be a little bit different, might have some different lights or like a winch bar or different bumpers on it. Um, but most of it's straightforward. If you do have like either a light bar or a winch bumper, it's a good idea to check your clearance um, between the front grille and the bumper first just in case you might have to remove the front or just kind of rotate it forward a little bit. We shouldn't run into any issues with this light bar. We should have enough uh, clearance there to actually uh, pull it forward and pull it up. We will need to remove the wiring for our lights. So I would recommend doing all that sort of stuff. First, to get out of the way, you don't do undo all your clips and figure out later on, you need to remove either the light, light bars or your uh, winch bump and stuff like this. But it's very straightforward to probably take 10 or 15 minutes to actually remove the grill itself and there might be a magnitude of different reasons why you might want to do this might want to get access um, to install some more lights maybe put an anger grill um, on your jeep if that's your sort of thing or might want to paint the front of your um, jeep grill whatever the reason is today we're going to show you how to remove the front grill from your jeep jk now it's very straightforward all you'll need is one simple tool either a flathead screwdriver or you can use a um, a clip remover tool, you can get them off eBay, Amazon, your local hardware shops, any sort of those places, sell them. Because you need to remove um, all these six little clips, all these little plastic clips that kind of hold the front of the um, the top of the grill in. Um, as you can see, there's little um, pry marks, um, a little indents there where you actually prop the screwdriver or the remover tool and um, pop those up, those pop up. Um, and there's a few clips down the bottom we just pull forward. So we're going to go remove these six little clips now and put them in a safe place um, from when we reinstall our front bumper, our grill. So very simple, they're just like that, they just pry off. Very easy and simple. Now if you do end up breaking one of these, you can buy replacements from like eBay and Amazon. Um, sometimes your local hardware shops or um, automotive store have, have replacements if you're lucky. Uh, maybe if you live in America, in Australia you probably don't. But they are very easy to break because they're just plastic. Um, so do be careful. They just pry up. All right, now you've got all those six clips removed. We need to go ahead and remove the wiring for our light bars, our light pods. Our ones are very easy. And by that point, you can get a bit of movement in your front grill. Now down the bottom here, just behind um, the bottom of your grill where your seven slots are, you'll see one tab, two tab, three, four, I think it's five tabs now. Looks like a lot of ours are broken. You see just in the middle slot there, it should have like a little uh, metal bar that they clip into. Now all you want to do is grab it and pull. That's one, that's two. You see down here all these little metal clips? Now most of those are broken. Now you've got lights on either side, little side indicators here. Now you've got two options of removing these little indicators here. You can either push that red tab and use the clip push down or you can just rotate it and they just pop out like so. You usually have to do that on both sides.
like so. All right, now that you've got all these clips removed and most of ours are broken. And you should end up with something that looks like a grill. Anyway, you can see on the back side here that all these clips here are actually broken. That one's actually completely sheared off. That one snapped. That one kind of sits inside the metal tab. That one's broken. And that one is coming off and broken as well. So it happens a lot. Um, it's not too big a deal because these six little clips holding it as well as the light as well and it sits hard against your grill and stuff like that but that's pretty much it so pop that to the side and you can see the little tabs here uh broken that one's broken that one's broken that one's broken and the only thing that was kind of holding it in is that little tab which kind of pushes into the center there so that's pretty much it for today guys, um, really simple really, it's really kind of these six at the top and most of these are probably already be broken anyway, um, and just the lights, um, you can either use the clip, um, which is the red clip there, which you kind of push out, then you push that down, and then you can pull out, um, and then put it back in, just press the red clip back, clip back in, or you can just rotate it, um, clockwise and it'll just pop straight out um, that way you can remove and replace the bulb whatever you want to do either way it's very simple and very easy but that's, that's pretty much it for today guys i hope you guys like this video um, it kind of sucks that those bottom clips are broken if yours are in good condition just spend a bit of time with a screwdriver just kind of wiggling these clips here out they will end up coming out eventually um, probably just with a flathead screwdriver trying to get them out mine are all rusted and kind of crap um, it's good they use like a little bit of a um, steel clip to hold those in but unfortunately you can see it's a little bit rusted so things do break. Um, as always thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.